Hey, what's up guys? This is Brandon Keen with Multi-Level Media. Today I wanted to go over how to record Zoom meetings. A lot of people these days have been doing uh, these Zoom video conferencing meetings for work, pleasure, just catching up with family and friends. Uh, so I wanted to go over kind of the workflow to capture these videos, screen record, and then bring these files into Final Cut Pro or uh, Premiere, any other editing software, and kind of break down the workflow. Let's jump into the computer. All right, so now that we're on the computer here, um, I did open up Zoom. Before you start the recording, um, there are a couple things we can do here. So we can record straight out of Zoom, and then when the meeting ends, we will receive that video file, uh, and then we can go, go on with editing from there. Or if you want to, you can pretty much just do a screen record straight out of QuickTime, uh, pretty much what I'm doing here to, to record this screen. Um, but before you start the Zoom meeting, you do want to hit the uh, settings button over here. So open that up, go over to the recording tab and make sure that you have record video during screen sharing checked off. Um, if you don't have that checkbox, um, then you won't be able to record your meeting. So. Um, first verify that that is checked. Um, if you want to change the storage location for the video, you can do that and define that location here. Um, you can also, if you want to separate the audio from the video file, um, you can record a separate audio file um, for each participant, which is pretty cool if you want to break down um, into you know, individual audio. Um, so once you verify all your settings, uh, you just want to get into a meeting. So for example purposes, I'm just going to start a meeting. So I'll start a new meeting. Got me on the screen here. Um, I'm not going to join with audio since we're recording here. Um, but once you're in to your meeting, um, and you'll see if you, if you have different participants in the meeting, um, it'll break down into different views. Um, but all you're going to do here is record. So once you hit record, um, you do want to capture the audio, so I would join with the audio, but for now, uh, I'm going to continue without audio. Um, and it's recording, you can see up in the top left. Um, and as you're recording, you can pause it. Um, if you pause it and then restart it, um, it's going to bring that video, it's going to compile it into one video file. If you stop it and then restart it, it's going to create um, two separate video files for the recording. So um, let's go ahead and stop the recording. Uh, you'll get this, this pop up on the right. Um, so the recorded video files will be converted and it'll store into that storage location after you end the meeting. Um, so let's go ahead and end the meeting and we will end the meeting for all. So once that happens, you're gonna see that the conversion is gonna begin. So you'll see it says converting, meeting, recording, um, and then it's gonna you know, pop up that video file and we can take it from there. Um, so here you'll see that you got my, the audio file. Uh, I wouldn't worry about this too much. Um, it's probably just some, some sort of like text file that gets populated. Um, but you got the mp4. So once you have that mp4, resave your file and then we will jump into Final Cut. Um, for this example, I already have a timeline kind of like pre-made from a, a video previously. Um, so I'm not going to use this file, but I'll show you kind of how we do it. And it's, it's pretty, pretty similar to, um, you know, any other videos that you guys are editing in, in, in an editing software just using our transform scale um, tools just to break down that video clip. All right, so now that we're out of Zoom, <clears throat> and for here we're in Final Cut, but uh, DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, any other video, even most likely iMovie, if you can um, do transform scale, um, you should be able to, to uh, put something together similar to this. Um, so drop your video file onto your timeline, and then pretty much right here, you'll see that there's a bunch of, uh, you know, blade tool cuts throughout the video. Um, and that's really just me going in and changing the scale. So you'll see here, I had a video clip and all right. So this one, um, is 
on one one of our uh, participants in the the video chat um, so for this all I really did if I take off the transform scale I just took this image and I just scaled it in to just the left side so you're really just seeing him so if you know if he's speaking I want to emphasize you know his video part um, if it's kind of like going back and forth we can keep it um, just you know the regular zoom meeting the way it outputs the video file um, so you can see both participants um, and then you know if somebody else is talking in the video we just want to scale it in so um, let me just sorry this is like re-rendering for us but um, and there you go you got the other guy but so let's say we want to take this we got both of them in the screen if one of them's talking we just want to you know click this button go to our transform tool and then pretty much you just scale it up so scale it up to the size of the screen and whoever I wanted to emphasize in the video if I wanted to take this guy I can just center him in the screen um, if I wanted to use his frame I could do that as well um, so really just use that transform scale tool and scale it up um, make sure it looks good um, but that's pretty much how I've been doing these zoom meetings just record that video file and break it down into um, you know whoever's speaking just kind of modify it and that you'll see that, that there's so many different jump cuts in this um, just because I'm you know moving it back and forth depending on who's talking um, and then you know if it's a collaboration uh, I'm kind of going back and forth quick you know I'll, I'll just leave it on that the dual screen setup but yeah it's pretty straightforward that's how that's how I'm recording these zoom meetings and um, importing them into an editing software uh, I hope you guys like this tutorial um, go ahead and record those zoom meetings and let's see what you guys can make I think this is an awesome tool to, to recap your your video recordings and you know share with others thanks everyone for watching I hope this helps out hope you can get your zoom meetings recorded and get them in a presentable format um, looking forward to see what you guys can come up with don't forget to like, subscribe, put on your post notifications, and keep an eye out for all our upcoming content. Peace.